Being a professional photographer in 2024 is different. There have been some huge changes in the way that our industry works, what's expected of us. The payments change, the, the outputs change, everything has changed. And what I want to do in this video is give you those key changes so that you're not left behind. Now you can get as mad at me as you like in the comments about why it shouldn't be the way it is, but what we're going to talk about here is not what would be ideal, but what is actually happening. One of the biggest things we've noticed, and I've discussed this with my agents, is that usage is going down. People are paying less and less for usage. There's still those big lofty jobs, they still exist. It's more the mid-level jobs. It's more the below the line usage. It's more the, not your main campaign, your bits. The small stuff still pays the same, the big stuff still pays the same, but your messy middle is kind of heading down a little bit. And there's a few things we can do about that. And of course you can go, well, we should not work for less, but the budgets are lower, so the, the shoots are smaller. We have to build our business under that. If you're shooting in that middle, and I'm talking about the sort of, I don't know, 10K a day full production jobs, not 10K for you, 10K for the whole production job. If that's your sort of game, you've got to reduce your overheads. Now, those big shoots still exist. The big worldwide usage still exists. That is still happening. People still want worldwide usage. They still want it in perpetuity. That is still your big money. That is where you make your, your big wins for the year. A couple of those each year and you are golden. But these mid-level jobs, they are struggling. They're really taking the squeeze. And the smaller stuff, it seems to be that there's more of them. The ones where you might get paid two grand a day as a photographer. There seems to be more of those jobs but the quality of work is getting higher in those, you know, so that that's all changing. The next thing, and I think this is very important, is video. And I've mentioned this before, but video is becoming the norm. And not necessarily video like this, I'm talking GIF, stop motion, animation, whatever it may be, but some sort of moving element. All brands are moving towards a tech or internet heavy marketing plan. Billboards are kind of dead and the only ones that aren't dead are the digital ones which are moving anyway. So in the UK we have a law that you're allowed some movement in your digital billboards but no one specifies how much but what I'd suggest you go and do is start thinking about these little six second videos you can get. You don't need great video equipment for doing any of this. All of the output is 1080p. You don't need 6k, 8k cameras or anything like that. Anything which can do 2k, 2.8k is it called? I think something like that. That'll do you. You know, even your standard camera, if you're shooting stills to do GIFs, stop motion, ample resolution, absolutely ample. So you've got like 12 megapixels, you're good to go. Now the next thing is, and I know that the internet is quite behind this in the photography forums, but we are now content creators. Um, I, I don't, well, I am a photographer. I do call myself a photographer. People say, what do you do for a job? I'm like, I'm a photographer, but really I'm a content creator. And that seems to be a dirty word with a certain generation. Um, but, but that's the word we're going to be using going forward. And you can get at me in the comments if you think I'm insane for saying that, but we're creating content and that is what we're doing. This is a new way of describing what we used to do, but it's more fitting for today because it is shooting for multiple purposes, shooting for multiple uses, shooting in multiple mediums, you know, whether that's moving, GIF, animation, stills, we're all bringing that together. We're still creatives. We're still creatives at the heart of it, but we're creating a bigger plethora of content for our clients. And it's important not to get left behind. So I'm hearing photographers sounding like the ones who got left behind when we moved from film to digital. I'm hearing that, oh no, I'm going to do it like this forever. This is the right way. This is the proper way. No, this is the way the world's moving. You can rage against the machine all you like, but it's going that way. And of course you can go, yeah, not for me. I'm not into that. That is fine. But don't moan when your career dies, you know, but absolutely. If you go, do you know what? I'm a purist. I want to shoot four by five slide film only, just transparencies. That's all I'm going to do. That's real photography. Go for your boots. That is absolutely great. I've got friends who do that. They love it. Their work is amazing. They are skint, but they do not care. And that's an important thing to note. Chasing, I think a lot of the time on this channel, I give people the impression that making money is the be all and end all. It is not. Money can fix a lot of problems. Money can buy you out of situations, but it can't give you happiness. It can pay for private medical care when the NHS is too slow. It can get you a first class train ticket so you don't have to sit with 10,000 people in a filthy carriage. It can do these things, but it can't make you fundamentally happy. 
that that's doing what you want to do. Now, another thing I've noticed all successful photographers are doing at the moment, which is something they wouldn't have done a few years ago, is diversification. They're diversifying their income streams. Everybody got the fear during COVID. The entire industry just stopped and that was terrifying. And everyone suddenly realized, oh, actually, I'm not as secure as I thought I was. Me, I did YouTube. Other people built studios during that time so they could rent them out afterwards. But everybody has got multiple income streams. You would be a fool to be relying just on photography. There are too many variables. There are too many changes. We don't know where this industry will be in five years time. If you're not starting to plot your future, do that now. Don't be left behind. I left it way too late starting YouTube. If I'd have started this when I thought I should have done, it would have been in the heyday of YouTube when you know growth was huge and all the rest of it. But no, I, I waited and waited and waited until I had to do it um, because there's nothing else to do really. But diversify. So for me, that looks like lots of things. It looks like rental properties. It looks like having a new studio being built for rentals. It looks like having a YouTube channel. YouTube pays me money, so do my sponsors and endorsements. Um, we have workshops. We have portfolio reviews. And, and the important thing for me is that all side hustles that I can scale up and down. So at the moment, we're really busy in the studio, hence these videos being a bit ad hoc and all over the shop. Um, so I'm sitting down this morning. I've got an hour and a half to film as many videos as I can. And then I get back to my day job, which is being the photographer. But it needs to be scalable. You don't, want to, you don't want to limit yourself that you can't make the big bucks in your photography because you've got these side hustles to give you security. Because anyway, not, not business advice, definitely not financial advice, but there we go. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd love to know what you feel about the way the industry is changing and what 2024 has for you. Everyone was touting it as the year that everything's going to get better. I'm not seeing that. I'm seeing it as the year where we try and make it to the end. I'm seeing it as the year where you define your future in 2024. 2024 is the year that you need to make the difference if you want to stay in business. I foresee a lot of photographers going out of business by the end of this year, which is sad, but, but that is the capitalist world we live in. So you've got you to be in it to win it. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.